In the previous lecture we discussed an introduction to hyperlipidemia, so we knew about lipoproteins, their composition and types, and we discussed their journey in the body. So today we'll briefly discuss hyperlipidemia types. There are five types. And type 2 is classified to two subtypes. Type 1 is called familial hyperkylomicronemia. It's obvious from its name that this type is characterized by high amount of chylomicrons in the blood. And we know from the previous video, that chylomicrons carry a high amount of triglycerides. So this type is characterized by a massive fasting hyperchylomicronemia, even following normal dietary fat intake, resulting in greatly elevated serum triglycerides levels. This condition is caused by deficiency of the enzyme lipoprotein lipase, and this type is not associated with an increase in coronary heart disease. Type 2 A, familial hypercholesterolemia. In this case, it's obvious that there is high amount of cholesterol in the blood, so what kind of lipoproteins have the highest amount of cholesterol? The answer is LDL. So we can say that this type is characterized by an elevated LDL, with normal VLDL levels due to a block in LDL degradation. And this results in increased serum cholesterol, but normal triglycerides levels. This condition is caused by defects in the synthesis or processing, of LDL receptors. In this condition, ischemic heart disease is greatly accelerated. Type 2b, familial combined, or mixed, hyperlipidemia. Mixed hyperlipidemia means that both cholesterol and triglycerides have a high amount in the blood, and that means high LDL and VLDL. So this type is similar to type 2A except that VLDL is also increased, resulting in elevated serum triglycerides as well as cholesterol levels. This type is relatively common. It is caused by overproduction of VLDL by the liver. Type 3. Familial dysbeta lipoproteinemia. This type is characterized by an increased serum concentrations of IDL, resulting in increased triglycerides and cholesterol levels. It is caused by either overproduction, or underutilization of IDL, due to mutant, apolipoprotein E. In this condition, xantomas and accelerated vascular disease develop in patients by middle age. Type 4. Familial hypertriglyceridemia. This type is characterized by an increased levels of VLDL, whereas LDL levels are normal or decreased, resulting in normal to elevated cholesterol, and greatly elevated circulating triglycerides levels. It is caused by overproduction and or decreased, removal of VLDL and triglycerides and serum. This is a relatively common disease. Patients with this disorder are frequently obese, diabetic and hyperuricemic. Type 5. Familial mixed hypertriglyceridemia. This type is characterized by an increased serum VLDL and chylomicrons, that's why it's called mixed hypertriglyceridemia. While LDL is normal or decreased. This results in elevated cholesterol, and greatly elevated triglycerides levels. This condition is caused by either increased production, or decreased clearance of VLDL and chylomicrons. Usually it is a genetic defect. This type occurs most commonly in adults, who are obese or diabetic. That's all for this video. In the next lecture we'll start talking about hyperlipidemia treatment.